go, 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 Jimmy, go, Jimmy. Hold it, hold it, George. Call it, Jack. Mate, they they're vulnerable. We got space there. Lucas, come. Look for those opportunities, yeah. okay? But most of all, just keep being patient. Mason, just tell him to strike through it. Yeah, I got you. Brisbane Boys College is hosting TSS, the only other unbeaten team in Queensland's GPS. Although the Premiership will not be decided today, the victors will have a firm grasp on the trophy. You know, we spoke about they haven't been put under pressure. Now they're under pressure. Tell the boys, let's keep it on. Well done, Lucas. Nice, Howie. Get off the ground, forwards. Get off the ground. Go, mate! Finding some pace out here for Howarth. Howarth, Howarth walks, shows, goes. Howarth will score! We need to get a kick in now. Scoreboard pressure, scoreboard mate. Scoreboard yeah. pressure. Just rip into these blokes. They just need to score one try, and this is the this is the time. Jackie, come on, slide this one through, mate. Give it to us. Give it to us. No. Okay, we're gonna roll on tries. Boys, we gotta be patient here. We don't let them score. Yes. Yes. Right pressure. Roberts inside ball to Fafita. Fafita. Fafita will score. Oh. Yeah. That'll do. Shut up. Focus on our own game. Focus on our own game. Yeah. 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 Following a one-sided first half from the home team, the resilient Southport stay in touch on the scoreboard. But College continue to assert offensive dominance. Stevens looking out. Right foot step, try time! Try, Jack Howard! This nine minutes decides a premiership. We're mentally stronger than they are, let's go. Been the difference, mate. Goal kicking. We've left eight points on the board. Two minutes to go. Two to go. Building pressure. Building pressure. Pressure. That's it. That's it. Pressure. Let's go. Let's go, Howie. Right half getting Howard. Howard. Howard with the right footstep. Howard. He's hard to put down this afternoon. Oh, he's fighting for every meter. It's been lost forward on the ground. It's been lost forward on the ground. There's 30 seconds left. Play, let's go! Pressure, pressure! They've just got to kick this out, I think. They've just got to kick this out. They've got to pressure. goes back. Can't do that. But the referee says no. That's it. You can't throw it out. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. It wasn't deliberate. It was a pass to me. It wasn't intentional. Don't be silly. All right. Come in, boys. Come in. Heads up. Heads come up. in. Come in.
Howie, come here, come here. Oi, stop, 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 oi. Oi, stop, stop. Oi, it's all right. Hey. Howie, stop, stop. It's all right, mate. It's all right. Oi. No, oi, we stop, could have stop, won. Oi, stop, oi. Just stop. Head up, mate. Oi, just stop, just stop. You played a great game of footy. You win some, you lose some. Okay, mate. You're a winner today. Don't worry about the scoreboard, mate. Boys, come in. Listen in. Boys, I know we're hurting. Okay, we're hurting bad. And that performance, okay, is the best performance I've seen from a schoolboy side. Okay, what we've achieved this year so far, you can see by the support here how much it means to you, boys. So let's stay strong for each other, okay? I know we're hurting. Stay strong, boys. Okay? I couldn't be prouder. Okay, look at look around at all of you. I'm hurting. Okay, but I couldn't be prouder. A lot of ups and downs in your footy career to go, yeah. Yep. Okay, you've got to be strong. Yep. Be strong for yep. everyone to see you, okay? How are you? You good? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I oh, know. <laughs> Keep the boys tight, okay? Yeah. Brisbane Boys College is one of the country's most iconic schools, with a reputation of inspiring great things from its students. Overall, it's all about our academic program, and so at the end of the day, boys, when they walk out of here, walk out with an opportunity for the next stage of their life. Boys can find a niche, find their passion, find something that resonates with them. We want them to be fit and healthy more than anything, but we also want them to try lots of things as well. With a history of overachievement across its vast array of interests, Sport at BBC is no different. The boys obviously have a whole range of sports that they can be involved in and the school's responsibility is to ensure that each of those programs are run really, really well. Every boy gets the opportunity to participate. He gets to persevere and obviously a platform to perform. But in the GPS sport of rugby union, the school has long yearned for recent success. We don't have a great record of success. Out of all the GPS schools, obviously, we haven't, uh, we haven't won it since 1954, and that, that monkey's been on our back for quite some time. We've been focusing on the winning for so long, and it just hasn't occurred. No team's ever won an outright premiership at BUC. They don't want it lingering in the background. We want to address it and talk about the process and being able to do it. One, two, three, go! Up, one, two, go! This year, there is hope that BBC's rugby tide is turning. They're not going to go easy on you in a game, so let's go here, come on. You need to work here, I know it's hard. We've all got a job here to do, and that's to get you ready to win this premiership. You've impressed over the last couple of weeks. Do your stuff. Where do you think you're at now? 10 is my preferred position, but I'm not going to sulk and whinge if I don't get it. Just focus, get your body shape right. Set! Nobody outside of our group believes that you guys can do it. Let's prove everyone wrong. In 2019, the season returns to the GPS, as Brisbane Boys College aimed to be the greatest team in their 117 year history. Tell Jack if he kicks out again, he won't play for the rest of the season. Actually, don't tell him that. We bombed so many tries. Yes! Yes! Yeah! Good Ben Howard! What a hit. We've worked hard for this, haven't we, boys? We've built something special. It'll be strikes. <laughs> Join the first 15 both on and off the field as the players balance school, work and play as the GPS competition rolls on. Andrew, do you miss Mum's cooking yet? I miss Mum's cooking two days before I left. Jersey 12, Lucas Ripley. You guys going down to prep? Well, Miss Gerwich is downstairs. You should be running onto it at full bore. Make sense? All the best. All the best. <laughs> he drives me crazy every day, but I wouldn't change him for the world. Thank you all very much for helping. Witness all aspects of the rugby program as its wheels collectively turn in the pursuit of success. Well, I'll see the inside of you. We'll let you go home later on. I've had a lot of messages today from 
from old boys. Oh, so many boys haven't been able to sleep. Getting named that first week, calling my mum and dad that night, like they started crying for me. This is the story of BBC's First 15 and their journey through one of the most exciting schoolboy rugby competitions in the world. This is the season, and this is BBC. Come on, boys, give me the echo! Yes! And go! Quick march. There we go. Alrighty, so we've got a barbecue meat lover and a barbecue chicken going in now. So this is a margarita, it's cheesy pizza. Barbecue meat lovers here. We've got a Hawaiian over this side and we've got a Supreme on this side. Thank you. <laughs> with pre-season only a few days old, coach Shane Drum has already broken with tradition. So help yourselves, as I said, we've got three hours of pizzas here, guys. So there's uh, no one's gonna miss out. We're all good. How are we going with wood? Let me know when we need, if we need more wood. I reckon that's enough for a little while. That's enough. That should burn for a while. How'd you find the session today, Howie? Yeah, it was time and shooting. Wanting to shift to a collective culture, he has gathered players and parents together to unofficially launch this season. Same. Funniest was when Drami just got peppered. Connor's out. It was important on a number of levels. Uh, important that I opened myself up to the boys and to their families uh, so that they can see me and the other coaches, but in a social setting. You know, I thought it was a way of personalising, you know, why I'm coaching and, and what it all means to me. It's a, it's a team of everyone, like it's the families involved with the rugby, the parents, you know, even the siblings, the kids, like it's all a big joint venture, I guess, isn't it? You know, we have a lot of interactions with parents and I also thought it was really good for them to see me as a father, as a husband, away from the, the coaching role. There's always at least one game a year where the boys just yeah. don't turn up. Come around here. Would you like to serve yet? Thank you. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Yeah, well, Thank you. Kind service. Last year we were 15 blokes. We only knew each other on the field. We didn't know anything about each other, no connections. And then there's those sensible people when they get hit, they put their hand up and they walk back. Yeah. And just, <laughs> the purpose of that day was just to see the whole group outside of school and you got to meet everyone's parents and like I think it just brought us closer. First I wanted to thank you all for coming. Uh, we really appreciate you giving up your time. There is a purpose to tonight. We wanted to open ourselves up to you guys and bring you into our program. We also wanted to give you an understanding of what we're trying to achieve, talk a bit about our goals and also talk about you as the most important part of it, you know the main support network. So when we win or when we lose, okay, we're, we're very humble. Over the last few months, okay, we wouldn't have had all the boys sitting around a fire that tight. You know, big purpose of tonight. The session allows for new objectives for the new season to be set. Well, obviously our, our main goal was to win the Premiership, but we knew if we didn't get that, uh, the one thing, the non-negotiable that we wanted to achieve was to have no regrets. It was really important to show the rest of the GPS um, schools that BBC is a threat and 2019 was going to be a good year for BBC. And so we want to support each other through that and we really need the support of the whole group assembled here because uh, we want to see this group achieve. Thanks again. Look forward to continuing to work with you. Great bunch of guys as we go. With the bonds of brotherhood strengthening, 
Attention now turns to the mental fortitude of the team. I knew we had the ability to certainly be competitive, if not win it, but I knew we needed that hard edge. We needed to be ruthless and we needed to be the hardest working team in the comp. And it wasn't an attribute that sort of came naturally to BBC. So when the boys are running on the force at the start is the task you're given. There's an expected standard. You do as quickly as you can. And then when you finish, you support your mates. That mental thing comes in and they're starting to hurt just to push them through that bit because they'll be some, they'll be tired. Uh, today's session's just going to be down here on the oval. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a grind, but the important things I want you guys to keep in your mind here is when you are grinding, when we talk about that toughness, toughness isn't about your big muscles and that kind of stuff. If you're not winning or you're not the first guy, it's your effort you put in and the commitment you're making to that activity, which then reflects through the rest of the team. There's a strong belief that this is one of the best squads that BBC's had with the potential of even taking out the Premiership. When it comes down to it, it's going to be on you guys. Given the strength of the squad this year, I thought it was time to bring in someone who was professionally qualified, uh, was experienced in developing a, a mindset amongst the group, um, and particularly, obviously, high school students. Go, boys, let's get the chat, let's get the effort up. Let's pair up, urgency, let's go, sprint it! Sprint it! Sprint it. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go. go. Generally speaking, I'm one that loves a challenge, and even though while you're doing the sessions, you may go, oh, this is really, really difficult, it teaches you that you're capable of so much more than you could have ever thought possible. Let's get some chat, boys. It's not about what you're doing. Oh, Waldy, catch up, mate. The props are beating you. Taking little steps forward. It's not the instruction. Going to cost you. Plant your feet, jump from there. You're doing it non-stop here. Come on, boys, get the chat up. Your mates are looking for some assistance here. A lot of the sessions we did were not only extremely physically grueling, but really, really mentally challenging as well, trying to keep you as alert and under pressure as possible. Stop shortcutting. Knees to the ground. If you're not up for it, you walk away. Let's bring someone in here that wants to do the work. Righto, link arms, let's go. Oh, these sessions were crazy tough, but I honestly think that, yeah, I did get mentally strong and tough from it. One thing I probably learned while he was here would probably be hard work. You gotta put in the hard work in order to live the the luxuries of winning and being fit. Work through the pain. Work through the pain. I'll go the other side. This is the difference, boys. The ones that take the next step. Everything you do is done with urgency and done because it's important. Okay, and that will reflect in your rugby. How you do those little things is how you end up doing all things. When there's a key call being made, what do we do? Communicate it. Someone calls it. Everyone calls it. How do you think it looks? Matt Groom is strategically placing each boy outside of their comfort zone, a place where many of them will go over the next nine weeks. The vast majority of you are having a dig and doing what's asked of you. I'm very impressed with what I've seen today compared to what I saw at the start of the first activity. You've come a long way, boys. You've still got plenty of room to improve. Groomy's obviously a tough bloke, but he's a little, little baby inside. Um, he, care, he cares for the boys a lot. Um, just having him around, him being positive, bringing positive mindsets to the team was, was pretty good for this season. Do you think they're having fun? Well, I understand you're getting tired and fatigued. Everyone's in the same position here, okay? Who didn't run up with their arms linked the whole way up and back? Come on, guys. Let's go, hands up. holding hands. Is that what you're told to do? No. Dog got a job here to do, and that's to get you ready to win this premiership. Do you understand that? Yes. If you want to have a sook and bitch about what I'm telling you to do, I know what it takes and what I'm asking you to do because you think you know better. You want to step in front of the team and let's have that out. There's one or two of you starting to drop your heads because you don't like what you're going through. Link arms, do it properly. And Matt has done a wonderful, wonderful job in terms of pushing boys to areas that they didn't know that they could achieve, but more importantly is the cultural aspect that the boys buy in, uh, that they're one team, that they're bonded together through combined experiences. Some of those, like, literally are in the trenches. You know, those experiences that Matt brought to the camp setting this year uh, has been a wonderful addition to our program. With the GPS rugby season only weeks away, rehearsals continue for a unique part of the BBC Match Day experience. There is a, a lovely tradition of the boys uh, walking down Rugby Hill um, with the pipe band, and so again, it's one of those iconic features of our school. It's a bit of a badge of honour for a first 15 player to be piped onto the field. That is, is 
truly something special. So guys, if you can get chanters and bits and pieces as yeah, well, sure. pull that together, okay? Jono, do you want to grab drums? We'll go outside straight away. BBC is probably one of the, the best school bands within Australia. There's a lot of expectation on the boys to really um, refine their playing and, and really gear towards excellence. Okay, if you go here and then just give us a wee shout and we'll pull it together. One, two. The bagpipes itself is such a hard instrument that it takes 12 months to learn on an instrument similar to the recorder we call the practice channel, and that takes a good 12 months before you actually progress onto the bagpipes. So is that as sharp as you can get it? Yeah. All right. Try it again. So you can all do it individually, but you need to switch on and do it as a group. After two, one, two. We memorize our music as well, so that's another beast to tame. If I was to boil it down to one word, it's just a, the dedicated boy is the one that will succeed in pipe band, yeah. Quick march. It's not unsimilar to any of the other sporting codes with regards, whether it be rugby or soccer or anything like that. You know, we're, we're geared towards the best performance that we can possibly put on the park. One, two, three, buzz. Phrase, just watch the phrase then. One, two, three, four. This year, the epitome of our competition success anyway would be the state championships. So we're the current holders of that from last year. I mean, we're aiming towards European championships next year and the World Pipeline Championships in 2020. So the playing field is, is a phenomenal level and we need to be sort of pushing towards that. So the guys need to drive themselves. You go historically back to the days when uh, you know the pipes would play and the, the, the soldiers would, would head into battle. It's a little snapshot of something like that. The boys love it, the, the music is always very stirring. It's all part of uh, a, an afternoon at BBC on Miskin. You sense from the boys that they actually genuinely appreciate the talent of the pipe band playing for them and, and leading them on to the field. It's tradition for us and, and it makes the, the boys know, yep, everyone's behind us. And that we've been going for, for decades upon decades now, so the other schools will see us at the, the rowing and the rugby. It's amazing for the, for the guys, to be quite honest, especially on game day at rugby, when you've got the band marching down the hill, you've got the first 15 behind. And at that point in time, you know, the, everything's encapsulated as BBC. next time on the season. In terms of your footy on the field? I think there's still a lot of things I need to improve on. Have you got a $20 note? You've got to hit it on the full. My money's safe. Some of us are getting a little bit frustrated. My mum wants me to grab a photo oh, if you no. want it. No, no. no. <laughs> Boys, we've had an awesome preparation, I reckon, on and off the field. OK, it's the best I've seen. Take it out on the field. For more information on Brisbane Boys College, go to bbc.qld.edu.au.